Hi guys, it is a dark, gloomy day. Here in the end times, I guess Newtown, Connecticut. And we consider Newtown, Connecticut a paradise or not. <coughs> I'm not going to get into that, but it is a gloomy day here on Friday, September 7th, 2018. And <coughs> the little dog and I have a 500 mile drive to Virginia on deck for today so before I crank up my gas sucking truck to head south do what I do every day well every Friday and that is simply the easiest day to be a, a doomsday prophet and an environmental alarmist because I simply open up my email box to see various examples of how this planet is heading directly into a brick wall at 67,000 miles an hour and I want to thank the brilliant Bill Hilly for unbelievably bringing back from the grave. That was bullshit. No shit, Sherlock. So I, I know that a another kind tribes member has sent me some buttons to Texas, and all is not lost, brother, because I'm need, I'm going to make an applause button. So we I've been needing an applause button for those rare moments, for like when a bear eats a hunter or an elephant stomps a poacher. So uh, all is not lost, but I, I am thrilled to have the buttons back because I'm going to put them both to use. Here as we dive into MangaBay.com's roundup of insults to this collapsing planet. I'm not sure if this is going to be a one or two part rant, but we're going to start off with Manga Bay, and uh, you don't have to guess anymore which buttons I'm picking up because uh, you can just watch, I can just keep them right here. We're going to start with the little button, how land is stolen in Colombia. Hmm. Manga Bay has learned that the superintendent of notary and registry in Colombia has a record of empty lands being used illegally in seven Colombian states. No shit. Yes, from the shithole country of Colombia, from the land grabbers in Colombia. Let's go over to the land grabbers in Malaysia, and we can change buttons with this headline. A civic outcry in Malaysia forces a Chinese builder to live up to its eco friendly tag. Bullshit detected. Take precautions. This is the new Forest City Malaysia. You gotta love the, you know, the, the sick twisted irony, uh, you know, obliterating how many thousands of acres of forests off the planet and then calling your, your development Forest City, <coughs> which is a massive what they're calling a land reclamation project. Yes, built by a Chinese developer, which will house. Good Lord, have I already? Have I already? Probably. God damn it! I've already knocked the batteries out of my brand new. I've probably already killed my bullshit detector button. Uh, There you go. Thank you for uh, for speaking the truth about Forest City, which will house 700,000 people when it's finished. The project is being marketed as an eco-friendly future city, huh? But has been met with concern by environmentalists. Yes. The eco-friendly future city. Warning, warning, bullshit alert. But don't worry, the 
they have been forced to live up to their eco-friendly tag. All right, let's go Java. Is that in uh, Indonesia? Let's go to this, literally, at this point, the shithole country of Java and, and, and take this story in Java and, and any story in any country pretty much on the planet. Uh, at least, well, two-thirds of the countries on the planet, at least, you could insert for the word Java. Diaper Brigade. Diaper Brigade fights a chemical crisis in Java's shit rivers. Hmm. Yes. So, we're looking at, Mangabe, looking at a movement to tackle the dumping of millions of disposable diapers being disposed of by dumping them in the river into rivers across Indonesia's Java Island every year. Used diapers contain a long list of chemical components, many of which are coming from the shit from the babies, that don't degrade easily, contaminating river ecosystems. <clears throat> Fishing the shitty diapers from the rivers is a quick solution. But over the long time, over the long term, governments and diaper manufacturers must establish better waste management policies and consumers must cut back on their use of disposable Diapers. All right, I've already found a story to hit both buttons. No shit, Sherlock. No shit. And over the longer term, uh, governments must institute a zero child policy. As long as there is one child walking this planet, there will be a never a, a about a what about a three year stream of shitty diapers poisoning river ecosystems. These little planet nibbling bundles of joy literally from the day they are born are doing their part to uh, turn, literally turn our planet into a shithole planet. Um, okay. This one uh, uh, it's too complicated. Let's see. Wow. Here is how anti-poaching technology is saving the elephants. Yes, the name of the this newest uh, weapon in the war against elephant poachers is called Wiper. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> anyway. Moving on from the wiper. Okay, I have already had an interview which did not go over that well with his fellow uh, Dr. Thomas Lovejoy. And Manga Bay has a, <clears throat> has their interview this week with the godfather of biodiversity, Thomas Lovejoy. Um, Lovejoy talks about how deforestation and the impacts of climate change <coughs> could trigger could trigger dieback in the Amazon and other tropical forests causing them to shift into non-forest ecosystems as well as the trans impacting the world's by bi the world's biodiversity uh, Lovejoy says it is time for a paradigmatic shift in how we approach the conservation of the natural world. Quote, we really have gotten to the point now where we need to think about managing the entire planet as a combined physical and biological system. Yes, which button do we push? on that one. Uh, managing it is time for humans 
to manage the entire planet. Okay, as an example of that, let's go over to the shithole country of East Java, where we see wildfires tearing through East Java Park, threatening leopard habitat. Mm -hmm. The wildfire is burning inside Bromo Tengger Samero National Park, a major tourist attraction, an iconic landscape in the park known as Teletubbies Hill has already gone up in flames. Is Teletubbies Hill from the Jabberwocky? Anyway. All right, I love this. A local NGO is monitoring the wildfire to make sure that none of the leopards are flushed out of their habitat and into contact with humans, which could turn violent. Hmm. Yes. All right, here is how a diverse family of algae is going to save the coral reefs. Yep. Okay, let's go over to, is Hong Kong a country? I'm embarrassed to admit, I've never really known, but anyway, we all know the shithole city of Hong Kong. Delay in Hong Kong's ivory ban endangers ele elephants and is legally unnecessary. Yes. Um, in addition to concerns about the growing ivory market in Hong Kong, the closure of China's markets combined with increased enforcement there is driving ivory to growing markets like Vietnam, Laos, and Cambodia. An immediate ban on the ivory trade in Hong Kong is technically possible and the delay to 2021 is legally unnecessary. And so uh, let's draw some dots between that story from the shithole country of uh, Hong Kong over there to the shithole country of uh, Botswana. I mentioned this story from the mainstream media just yesterday. This is Manga Bay's spin on it. 87 elephants found dead in Botswana, one of the last safe havens for the species. Botswana is one of the last safe havens for elephants. Bullshit detected. Take precautions. At least 87 elephants were killed by poachers recently. Conservation nonprofit Elephants Without Borders said, uh, given that the current survey you know, of, of dead elephants is only halfway through, conservationists worry that the final number of poached elephants will be much higher. Yes. Okay, let's see. All right, let's go from the shit all country of Botswana back to the shit all country of Indonesia. Hmm. <clears throat> Indonesia, a top plastic polluter, mobilizes 20,000 citizens to clean up the mess. Yes. Thousands of Indonesians gathered last Sunday at 76 locations across the country to participate in a massive cleanup of plastic trash. Hmm. Government officials and environmental activists hoped the event would raise awareness about plastic pollution especially among young people. 
Indonesia is now the world's second largest plastic polluter with 10 billion, 10 billion plastic bags in the country alone dumped into the environment each year. 10 billion plastic bags. I, I can't uh, do the math. 10 billion divided by 365. This is one shithole country on this planet. Jesus, we are so fucked. Yes, uh, back to the shithole country of Brazil. Brazil mourns incalculable loss in National Museum fire. Uh, a massive fire that may have started from a small flame on the roof gutted Brazil's National Museum. Yep. Uh, anyway. The museum had been struggling to meet maintenance needs due to budget shortfalls, and experts had warned of fire risk. Yes. Okay, let's just go over from the shit all country of of uh, Brazil pretty much to the shit all continent of Africa. I've already had mention this. So this is 27 African countries. Monitoring the ambitious land restoration commitments in Africa. Ambitious land restoration commitments in Africa. Oh, come on now. That ain't even bullshit. That's horseshit. Which are now cover almost 100 million Hectares. That's about a quarter billion acres of Africa uh, are now being committed to being restored. Huh. Making pledges to restore land is one thing. Hmm. While monitoring and tracking progress and actually achieving these restoration goals is another. Restoration requires more than planting trees. Hmm. Countries, these are African countries, must, in addition to planting a quarter billion acres of trees, African countries must enact policies, allocate budget to implementation, track, and learn from their progress. Oh God! You know, guys, this uh, this hopioid epidemic sweeping this shithole planet uh, is is there one human being on this planet for one minute uh, believing uh, that that Africa that that Africa is going to restore one quarter billion acres? Uh, of land that has been obliterated as the population of Africa is set to quadruple. Oh, Jesus. Uh, any, anyway, guys, I've got a lot on my... I just got to jump ahead. Here is their Latin American Eco Review looking at industrial fishing in the Galapagos Islands and fracking inside Colombian cloud forest. Yes, we have, don't forget, uh, mercury levels rising in the Peruvian Amazon. Yep, I anyway, uh, all right, here is how, I guess this is tied in with this, this land reclamation. Here is how agroforestry, agroforestry is going to save the shithole continent of Africa. 
Let's see. Uh, all right, let's go look at that, that planet nibblers. We're going to go over there to the shithole country of Papua New Guinea, where deal is in sight for New Guinea landowners protesting Exxon-led gas project. Yes. Following the occupation of a wellhead site in July and a threat to shut down the project permanently, indigenous landowners now say they are close to reaching an agreement with the government regarding royalties and equity. So what this is saying, guys, I, I have been ranting about this uh, since I wrote my, my, my book about oil development in the Peruvian Amazon, when, when I pulled my head out of my ass ten years ago now, when, when I was down there and, and figured out what these protests from all of these indigenous troops going uh, uh, against these planet eaters. The vast majority, I hate to give you a ham bone reality check, the vast majority, when you hear about these indigenous protests about these goddamn planet eaters moving in to their homelands, they're not, well, a few of them just want the sons of bitches gone, but what you will find is the vast majority of the protest is that these indigenous landowners yeah, want a bigger piece of the pie. They're not fighting the development. Uh, they simply, as they should, uh, they are demanding a bigger piece of the pie. Exxon turn over a few more dollars. You know, it's the latest manifestation uh, of, of selling Manhattan for $24 worth of beads. You know, the, the Indians in Manhattan Island didn't kill the, those honky invaders. They just immediately began selling it off. This is just the latest version. Uh, I, I, I hate to uh, harsh your mellow uh, about your noble savage fantasy, but this is the cold hard truth. This is what they're talking about in here. Uh, anyway, I've had that one. Okay, more articles on how technology is going to save elephants. Uh, I I anyway, uh, guys, I've got to, uh, I, I could go on with this, but I still need to get over, sir, to Center for Biological Diversity and the Washington Post, but I think I'll come back with a, uh, a quick part two of this week's Ecological Meltdown Roundup rant coming up in one minute. Smoke them if you got them, and we all know why. Bye, guys.